Good morning and welcome to Tuesday's Early Morning Intuitive Guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum here with some words of wisdom for your day. And yay us, we all survived the heat wave of Monday. And here we are to survive the heat wave of Tuesday. <laughs> oh well, we can do this. So, we've got fans running all over the place, we've got a window air conditioner. It'll be good. It'll be fine. Good morning, Barb. You're the first one popping on today. Glad you are here. Welcome, welcome. We'll see who else rolls in. So, I'm feeling a sense of let's do a little tapping. Good morning. I'm rising and I'm shiny. There we go. Good to go. Give me a little while longer, I'll probably be really shiny. Anywho, let's do a little tapping today to get ourselves started. Welcome to whomever else has jumped on. But let's just do a reset, okay? So, side of the hand, you can do one, you can do the other, you can do both together. Good morning, Cindy. I'd wave, but I'm tapping. Practicing in the top, an atomic habit, listen to body. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. So, tap it on the side of your hands. And we're just going to do a round or two to clear the way, all right? Even though I have old thoughts and beliefs, I am ready to change. Even though I get myself stuck at times in old thinking, I know I can change. Even though there's a lot of hubbub in the world right now, I believe out of chaos comes order. Inside corner of the eyebrows, time for some change. Outside corner of the eyes, time to listen to my intuition. Under the eyes, bringing divine feminine back online. Under the nose, creating more balance within me. Under the mouth, listening to my inner guidance. Collarbone, regrouping. Under the arms, willing to change whatever needs changing. Around the crown of the head, I am on the cusp of growth. Inside corner of the eyebrows, but what if it's too scary? Outside corner of the eye, what if I can't do it? Under the eye, but what if I can? Under the nose, I'd rather try and fall a little short. Under the mouth, than not try and stay stuck. Collarbone, I am a free being. Under the arms, no less than the stars in the trees. Around the crown of the head, I deserve to be happy. Nice deep breath in. And out. There, just kind of clearing the slate a little bit for today's reading, which comes from Outrageous Openness, Letting the Divine Take the Lead by Tosha Silver. Good morning, Gwen. Glad you are here. We just did a little bit of tapping just to clear the slate a bit for today's reading. And however you want to implement it today. However you want to implement this. So, for those of you who have the book and like to read along, it's Chapter 7, page 85, The Inner Tug the inner tug. We're talking about intuition here. The quote is by Albert Einstein. I continue to be amazed by Einstein. Just the, how, how prescient he was. Just amazing. Good morning, Angie. Glad you are here. Welcome, welcome. So the inner tug. Here's Albert Einstein's quote. Good morning, Peggy. Welcome, welcome. People should be more like animals. They should be more intuitive. They should not be too conscious of what they do while they do it. In other words, allow yourself to be led instead of questioning, 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 and the, the paralysis of analysis. We think, 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 and we never take a step. So he's basically saying, trust that inner guidance. Trust that inner guidance. So as with 
all of Good Morning Charlene. Glad you are here. As with all of Tosha Silver's stories, it's a story to make a point. So here's the story for today. Often the next right action in life can be felt as a palpable inner pull in almost any situation when we pay attention. That's my addition. Good morning, Beth. Glad you're here. You may not know what the correct route will be tomorrow, and if you've been feeling that lately, I don't know what the next best step is. I'm just going to stand here and wait until I get some guidance. Totally get it. But in the moment, if you listen, you'll be shown step by step the way to go. Step by step. Not the whole path. The next step. Next best step. So her story is about holidays. With many people traveling during any holiday season, knowing how to honor this inner pull can be invaluable. I was flying during Christmas week between Phoenix and Oakland. When I showed up at the gate for my Sunday flight, the airline announced that they had overbooked. Surprise, surprise. They were seriously angling for someone to give up her seat in exchange for a free voucher. No one stepped forward. So they kept sweetening the deal. <clears throat> Soon they were offering two free round trip tickets anywhere in the States, plus a meal and lodging for the night. They needed just one person, one single person, yet still no takers. Everyone wanted to rush home for the holidays. My inner propulsion to stand up and volunteer was so strong, I practically had to tie myself to my chair with my shawl to stay down. That's a pretty intense signal, isn't it? Let's see what happens. I just knew I couldn't sleep in Phoenix that night. My mind couldn't understand the power of this inner impulse. So she's got the war going on between the intuition saying, take the deal, take the deal, take the deal, and the brain saying, I can't, I don't want to, this isn't going to work for me. And you've got the tug of war going, right? My mind couldn't understand the power of this inner impulse. I had a class to teach Monday that couldn't be missed, plus a long-awaited doctor's visit. No way could I return home late, no matter how seductive the offer. Yet I kept feeling this ferocious pull, as if celestial angels themselves were trying to yank me standing. Maybe they were. I finally decided to surrender and trust my gut. But just as I jumped up, Another guy rushed forward. To great applause, he became the night's hero. Twenty minutes later, we all boarded the plane, leaving him to his lonely dinner and night at the airport Holiday Inn. I was in the last row. That's usually where I end up. Last row. I'm a cheap flyer. <laughs> With an empty seat beside me while we awaited the final passenger. Imagine my surprise when who should come bounding down the aisle but the volunteer himself pumping his fists in the air like Rocky Balboa. Everyone laughed and applauded once more. He sat down next to me. Hey, what did I miss, I asked. What happened? Dude, just frickin' unbelievable luck, he, he laughed. In the final instant, this lady got a call that her cat had escaped, so she gave up her seat to go find him. Meanwhile, the airline decides to honor me for volunteering, I got to keep the two free tickets and still be home tonight. I was truly happy for him. But when the universe placed him beside me, I finally understood why my body had been pulling me up despite all logic. I just hadn't listened. So, my darling daughter, Dee Dee, darling daughter, has a circumstance going on right now that is one of these. And I'm interested to see whether or not she will listen to the intuitive tug or not. So she has moved to a different town. She's in Menominee, Michigan, and has been staying with her new boss. Good morning, Nancy. Awaiting an apartment being ready. It's a duplex. And her friend who works at this place and got her this job in the first place has the other half of the duplex. They have had nothing but problems on her side trying to get it ready for Lauren to move in. So there have been, to me, warning bells all the way along. People not behaving in professional ways, including contractors who are doing repairs, the guy who owns the apartment in the first place, 
etc., 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 right? So the universe is talking. Good morning, Abigail. Glad you are here. Welcome. And welcome to everybody who popped on in between. So there's all these things that are saying, this isn't the right path. This isn't the right path. This isn't the right path. So yesterday's debacle was she had to work, but before work, she popped over. And this is about the fourth delay. She was supposed to be in this apartment the beginning of June. Now, <clears throat> when she went there, good morning, Betty. She thought she was going there to sign the paperwork, right? And this is not a cheap apartment. This is 1300 bucks a month for one person. Not a cheap apartment. And um, she gets there and he tells her there's going to be another delay into September. She's already feeling like she's... Um, overstaying her welcome where she's staying. So <clears throat> she's arguing a bit with him in terms of weight. You know, you've postponed and postponed and postponed. And, and he basically got angry and said to her and the person who's living on the other side with four kids, then you all can leave. I'll just kick you all out. I'll give you your money back. You can all be gone. And the other person says, you're going to put a woman with four children out on the streets. And he said, if that's what it takes, just being a jerk. To me, those are some pretty clear signs. This is not a match made in heaven in terms of landlord-tenant relations, right? So my daughter had to go to work. She had to pull it together. She's freaking out. Now where am I going to live? How am I going to deal with this? And so my role as mom isn't to fix it. It's merely to hold space for her to do what she knows how to do, to make good choices, etc. So she pulled it together, she went to work, got through her shift, um, was talking to the person on the other side of the duplex, their friends, and <clears throat> trying to come up with some ideas. Made She made the decision, I'm too tired, I can't make this decision now, I need to take a shower, go to bed, eat some, eat some food, go to bed, and in the morning, we will deal with this. So, 10 o'clock this morning, we're going to have a conversation about, okay, what do you see as your options? What do you think are the pros and cons of those options? Let's take a moment and figure this out. Let's not allow time pressure to make you make poor decisions. So we'll see what she comes up with. But again, the, the tug of, this really isn't a great idea. Let's do something different, right? So we'll see. And someone just dropped a message in that I'll have to respond to. Anywho, what is your inner guidance telling you? Will you take some time today to enter the stillness and listen within? Okay, what do you have for me? What guidance do I need today? As I go about my day, what do you want me to be paying attention to? This can be fast. This can be while you're in the bathroom brushing your teeth, getting ready for your day. Tune in. What am I being guided to do today, to think today, to be today, to focus on today. Little moments in the middle of the day. Course correct. Course correct. Okay, how am I doing? Am I headed in the direction my heart and soul wants me to go? Heart and soul, inner, inner guidance. What do you have for me now? Do I need to course correct in the middle of the day? End of the day, you're laying down to go to sleep. Okay, how did my day go? What would my heart and soul like me to know for tomorrow? What can I be um, perking while I sleep? Just fitting it in throughout your day. Make it a part of who you are. To do that, tune in. All right? So that is our message for today. Have an awesome day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you are capable of far more than you think you are, especially listening to that intuitive guidance within. Nothing smarter than your intuitive guidance. Bye-bye.